There is danger lurking in every part of the desert when it comes to the monsoon, so do you know all the rules to staying safe? Here to make sure that you and your family are safe are Brian Jones, Floodplain Management Division Manager, and Joseph Kufari, Floodplain Management Program Coordinator. Thank you so much for being here with us today because we do know it's so important. Well, thank you for having yeah, thank us. Yeah, thank you guys for having us. So for some people who are moving to Tucson who are out of state, we're, uh, we're obviously in a desert. So is flooding a real threat to them? Oh, absolutely, yeah. So um, using uh, some federal data actually from 2006 to 2016, Pima County was determined to be the eighth deadliest county in, the, in America for flooding. And a, a lot of those deaths occur on the road, people trying to cross flooded washes. Uh, there's actually 16 deaths during that time period. Um, just last year, we actually had another death last year. Um, and I think last year, uh, Northwest Fire Department alone did 20 or over about 20, 21 swift water rescues. Wow. So it's a continuing problem and, and we're trying always to get that message out. You know, the city of right. Tucson puts that message out, the Department of Transportation, but every year this, this happens. And so we're here to try to convince people to, to be safe when they're out there and, and they don't end up uh, getting washed away or, or even killed. Mm -hmm. And we have to remind people too that even just a couple or a few inches can, can really be devastating. And for all those people that drive those big trucks with the big silver things hanging off the back, you think <laughs> I'm totally indestructible. I can go through this water, but that's not always the case. No, that's not always the case. Um, literally only 12 inches of water can pick up a car. 18 inches can pick up a truck. Uh, but the real hazard comes in what's underneath that water. Is there mm -hmm. debris? Mm -hmm. Is there uh, rocks coming through there? Uh, unfortunately, there are a lot of potholes that form when water um, erodes underneath the roadway. So you never really know what's going on right. underneath that water. So why take that risk? Mm -hmm. We tell people, turn around, don't drown. Right, and, and unfortunately, you see it again and again every year. I think yeah. sometimes people get over, overly confident because they have gone through washes before and everything has been fine. But washes can fill up so quickly, right? I mean, absolutely. you can have walls mm -hmm. of water come through within a matter of seconds. Yeah, absolutely. And it doesn't even have to be raining where you're at in order for a flash flood to come and actually cause a problem for you. And, you know, it can be raining up in the up in the mountains, up in uh, Mount Lemon. Water comes down off the mountain front and, and flows across the road and, and it could be sunny where, mm -hmm. where people are. When obviously if you know you're, if you're headed home after a long day and you see this big flood in, in, in your way on the road, it can be easy to just say, well, I'm frustrated, I want to get home, I'm just going to drive through it. But there are some tips that you have for people <clears throat> to protect themselves, like one, for example, turn around, don't drown. But what are some <laughs> other things they can do to protect themselves? So I think that, you know, the first thing we want people to do is, is learn your flood risk. So, you know, contact your local floodplain jurisdiction. Um, it would be like maybe city of Tucson, town of Oro Valley, town of Marana. If you're in an unincorporated Pima County, there'd be us at the flood control district. Uh, so learn your flood hazards and your flood risks and, and kind of know what to expect. Um, and then no routes, you know, if you're trying to get home, no alternate routes to get to your house or mm -hmm. to work, you know, and plan those ahead of time so that you know, hey, if I can't get across this, I can go this other way. Um, and then also for folks who are uh, in, in, you know, maybe their property floods, you know, get flood insurance. Uh, you don't have to be in a FEMA floodplain to get flood insurance. And also for, for folks who might be renters, mm -hmm. a lot of people don't know that if you're a renter and your, your place you're renting is in a floodplain, you can get flood insurance for your content so that if, if that rental floods, you know, your TV and your couch and all that stuff can, can be covered. And so it's um, pr protecting yourself in that way and just knowing the hazards. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're also putting our EMTs and our first responders at risk right. too when some Absolutely. of these things happen. So let's talk about some of the tools and resources. Um, you said you can contact, you know, Oral Valley and all these different places to get the information. We are also doing a lot of studies that I think are pretty interesting. So tell us what you brought us. So uh, we just brought some standard outreach items that we have. We have a squeezy ball, um, we have our bag, and we hand these out at our outreach events because really kids uh, are our targeted focus because mm -hmm. they can um, go home, they can talk to their parents about it, uh, kids will talk to other kids, uh, and then they'll talk to their schools. So if we can get the logo out there, get kind of that message. Uh, we've also developed a rain gauge so you mm -hmm. can uh, put it on your house, put it in your garden, mm -hmm. um, and collect that rainwater. Uh, we've had a lot of feedback from children uh, saying, hey, we love this. Uh, my house got an inch of water and the next day it got two inches. Right. Um, so really just, yeah, trying to get that outreach towards mm -hmm. those kids. And yeah. obviously tools and resources, you wanted to add something to that. Yeah, 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 and actually I just want to add, you know, one of the reasons why we're here, you know, again, we as government agencies, we're putting out this message all the time and all the time people are still doing these dangerous activities. 
And you know, so I want to just point out that the most important people out there are your audience, because you know, people are going to listen to their friends and their neighbors and their relatives more than they're going to listen to us. Mm -hmm. They're you know, they're trusted sources, and so having more people out there, more ambassadors out there talking about the flood risks and making, trying to convince their relatives and their friends to be flood safe That's is, right. is really important. And they can go, um, you know, to find out about flood safety, we have a website, um, pima.gov slash be flood safe. Um, it's all one word, be flood safe is all one word. Um, and I'll and point them to that now. It's, it's a lot of invaluable information. You guys mm -hmm. uh, always uh, help us stay safe every year. So thanks yeah. for being here. A absolutely, thank yeah, you for thank having you us. Thank you. If you'd like to learn more about being safe this monsoon, visit pima.gov slash be flood safe or call 520-724-4600.